This is literally the definition of hidden in plain sight. Dodge Cat's alter ego, Scarlet, interviews herself. Dodge Cat asking frequently asked questions, and she says it in a satirical way, but her answers are extremely dark, and she says some wild things. So wild that I'm not even going to show the full interview on here because it's just out of pocket, some of the things she says, and it's not necessary to show you guys, but you can watch that on your own time, so let's just get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest with us tonight. She has taken the charts by storm with hit after hit. Please welcome the demonic Doja Cat. She introduces herself as the demonic Doja Cat. So this is her alter ego, Scarlet. Before she came out with all of this demonic imagery and all of the demonic music videos, she started posting on Instagram this woman named Scarlet where she would paint herself red and looked exactly like this. And she's interviewing Dodge Cat, who is the one sitting on the couch. So this isn't the usual for you. Sure, yeah. You don't uh, take a lot of interviews. No. What brought you here? Why are you sitting down with me today? I'm here for the pizza party. Let's bring it to social media. Uh, you've lost over a little over a million followers. Yeah, and why is that? Because I posted a picture of Whoopi Goldberg's nipples on Instagram. I saw that. Why did you choose to do that? It's really because she started going through this demonic phase and she was creeping out her fans. But I mean, I guess that could be a reason why. <laughs> Because they were kind of sexy. <laughs> That's so terrifying. Weird. Scarlet. Doja Cat. Have a sense of humor. Oh, wow. So what type of perks come with being in the Illuminati? Uh, free applesauce. I love applesauce. Chicken wings. Wow. But I haven't seen any wow. lizard guys in suits. That's good. No. Scarlet, it sucks. Uh, what? I want to do goat sacrifices because that's actually pretty spooky. Oh, wow. Also, I'd love to give a shout out to Satan. Are you kidding me? What are the perks of the Illuminati, she asks. She says, well, there's not much. I want to do goat sacrifices and I want to see lizard people. Obviously, she's doing this in a satirical way, but this is literally... The truth in plain sight. I mean, she's also giving a tribute to Satan. This isn't a joke, man. She posted this straight on her YouTube channel. Do you indulge in any form of, of worship? All the time. So tell me about that. I give my demons free cheese. That's unusual, but I appreciate that. Feeding her demons. She asks, do you indulge in worship? She said, yes, I feed my demons. And look, she's trying to make it funny. Yeah, I feed them free cheese and she's burping and all of this stuff. So let's... And look, they're all wearing crosses. They both have crosses all over their chest. It's a big joke to these people. Separate you from the artists. What does Amala think of Doja Cat? I, I don't separate it. <laughs> so I know that you've been painting. Unfortunately, I've painted a bunch of hot dogs and popcorn. Why fucking mind your damn business? But I spent days making those paintings and to everybody else but me, they are demonic and satanic. And that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that would fuck it. Uh, you shock a lot of people. Are you up to date on how much you do or is that something that you don't care about? Valid. Thank you. This might be a silly question. Do you appreciate the people and the fans who support your music? I hate my fans. My fans are dumb. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Love that. Love that. Can you share your thoughts on the importance of freedom of speech? Yeah, I think that it's So I just want to show you her concert real quick. She's on tour right now and I've never seen anything more demonic than this. I mean, I know my last couple videos about the concerts were demonic, but it just gets worse and worse. Check this out. This is her intro to her concert that she's on tour with right now. Oh. 
like a haunted house vibe. And there she is. Look at that background. What the heck? Wow, that is creepy. So she goes on to do her her song Demons. Um, you guys probably heard of it. Probably the most demonic song we have seen in a long time. The music video is pretty scary, literally like a horror film. Um, and she brings out this massive, massive spider. And people were saying they were like actually freaked out. Let me try and find it here real quick. So the audio was off because um, of copyright, but look at this massive spider that she brought on stage. I'm telling you, if I'm in that crowd, I am running. I ain't walking out. I am running. Look at that thing. Look at that head moving with all those eyes. And if she's just dancing and eating up all the energy, what is she even wearing? Is that like a, I don't know, but man, that spider ironically in her song demons and then the last thing i want to show you what is this audio Is she mocking Jesus and Christianity with that audio as she's bringing out these demon looking things in robes? And just wait, just wait till you see what happens. There she is, Taja Cat in the back. They turn off the audio for copyright, but. Look, the setting of this little segment she's in, it's like a church and they're all just dancing. Like, what is going on? Where do they find these ideas? Just mocking everyone's religion and demons and it's wild. It's wild stuff, the concerts that are happening now. But that's some, that's some creepy stuff. So she's on tour right now. We'll see if it gets worse and I'll keep you guys updated like always. These artists who are going through demonic phase like Daja Cat, Playboy Cardi, and Lil Uzi Vert are said to believe in karmic retribution. That means every deed or action has a consequence and evil deeds bring out suffering. But suffering is not a punishment by God who is free to punish or not, but rather is an inevitable consequence of evil actions. That's why you see it in plain sight. I just showed you an interview where Daja Cat is paying tribute to Satan. She's saying she's in the Illuminati and she wants to do goat sacrifices but she's making it into a joke so we can just laugh about it lil uzi vert has inverted crosses tattooed on his tongue it's in his instagram bio playboy cardi his merch store has baphomet and inverted crosses all over it he's literally advertising the church of satan and what do they get in return all of the fame money and success that they have ever dreamed of look at Daja Cat's Painted Town Red. On TikTok, it ha that sound, that sound has 2.8 million posts and the trend is of a dance and people putting up the devil horns. So in theory, if they tell us their agenda, they tell us they believe in Satan like Daja Cat just did in that interview. Playboy Cardi has Satan tattooed on his neck, Baphomet on his stomach, his merch store. Lil Uzi Vert says in a song that he made a city girl believe in Satan. 
They told us their agenda and they told us what they believe in. So now they put all of the responsibility on their fans, right? So if we continue to listen to them, worship them and go to their concerts and give all of our money to them, whatever happens, the outcome is now on us because we are choosing to follow them. Now, do I think that's the exact reason why everything is in plain sight and everything is becoming so demonic? I honestly have no idea. But the more normal this is getting, the crazier I start to look and sound. But let me tell you how normal this is getting, and I think anyone will think this is wild. Dodger Cat's song, Paint the Town Red, the one I was talking about earlier, has 2.8 million videos on TikTok of people using it, dancing to it, and putting it on their videos. That music video, I made a whole video about it. She is getting intimate with a demon half of the music video, and when she calls herself a devil in the chorus of the song, that's when the devil horns go up in the in the trend of the TikTok dance. And you cannot sit there and tell me that that is making all these kids and all these people act better when they listen to this music. This trend of this demonic stuff cannot be helping us in any way. I don't know how it would. The satanic imagery, the devil, the aggression... It's only bringing everything down. You, I mean, think about it. You listen to happy, good music, you're going to become happy and you're going to be excited. You listen to demonic music and fill your mind with demonic imagery. It's probably going to make you feel aggressive and want to act on those thoughts. That's common sense. I'm telling you, the spiritual battle is real. I mean, I don't know what the heck that interview was that we talked about. What's the reasoning that she even posted it? Who the heck knows? Surely it's not for money or attention. It was so random. And now it makes you wonder. All of those subliminal messages she said were the goat sacrifice, Illuminati, Satan. Maybe she's got to get that message out there one way or another. So super random. Let me know your guys' thoughts. I love you all. Have a great rest of your day. And protect yourself in prayer because things are getting wild out here.